All right, so we're going to talk about parametric curves in two dimensions over the course of the next few videos. And this is a good one to start with because it's basically everything we need to know about parametric lines in two dimensions. We're given these formulas right here for x and y and told that if we have a line segment between two points, p1 and p2, that we can represent that line segment using this formula. So let's plug our two points into this formula, see what we get, and chat about it a little bit. All right, we're going to replace x1 with negative 2, and we're going to replace x2 with 3. We're going to replace y1 with 7, and we're going to replace y2 with negative 1. Simplifying gives us our parametric curve. And what we're saying here is that our t value goes from 0 to 1. What you'll notice is this. At t equals 0, our x value becomes negative 2, and our y value becomes 7. That is the initial point that we were given up here. So when t equals 0, we start at our initial point. And at t equals 1, plugging t equals 1 right here gives us x equals 3. And plugging t equals 1 right here gives us y equals negative 1. The point 3, negative 1 is the second point that we were given, and that is our final point of our line segment. So what does that tell us about these line segments? Well, this number and this number here give us our initial point, and this number here and this number here tell us how much that x and y value change between time equals 0 and time equals 1. You can see by looking at these two points up here that the x value changes 5 units between our two points, and our y value changes negative 8 units between our two points. All right, now if we want the line that connects those two points that goes infinitely in both directions, all we have to do is say that t can go from negative infinity to infinity, or you would say t is any real number. So this is not just how you parameterize a line segment, it's also how you parameterize the entire line, and you just need two points to do it. All right, I hope that this helps you out. Let's take a look at some more examples in the next video. I'll see you there.